Welcome back to Grouse 4x4. Exciting day. Got a package here from our old salty captain. Can't wait to open this and uh, give you a good little review on what I think of their product and let you know if it's actually worth buying or not. We're gonna go wash both our dirty four-wheel drives. First thing we do whenever we go out, make sure you gurney the car first. Get all that real thick mud off. You just don't wanna be rubbing that into your panels. I'll give you a little snip of what you wanna look leave your car looking like. We've got a little bit of obviously dirt and mud residue still sitting on it. And then we're gonna give you on a how-to video on all the things you need to use inside the bucket here and see how it comes out at the end and give you my honest review of what I think of it. So we got the pressure washer foam cannon, goes onto a Karcher. There's a couple different ones, oh, it's just here. Karcher, K-Series, Gurney Steel, and then the Quick Connect tells you what it's compatible with. That's what we got. And then inside our bucket, we've got, this goes on the bottom of your bucket, so it catches all the dirt underneath and you're not re-washing it into your water. Got a hard one here, hard brush, soft brush, for your wheels. You don't want to be using the same foam mitt that you wash your car with your wheels. You don't want to mix the two together. These are for your wheels. All right, this one's the Chassis Champ. Underbody sand and salt repellent. Once you finish washing your car, you spray it on. Gives it like a nice barrier to help repel your sand, salt and water. Anti-corrosive barrier too, which is actually handy to know now that I've seen it. So that's the one you'd go and put one of those adjusters, the heads in, and you can spray it onto it. The glass cleaner, the generic glass cleaner. You gotta have crystal clear glass. You can't, you can't drive around not seeing out your window. That's just crazy. That one, we'll put here because we'll use that one later. The interior cleaner, I'm gonna need that because I actually got some mud in my car the other day, spat up through the window. Another good one, put that one there too. Right, this is the four wheel drive RV and wash. This is the stuff that you actually need to add in to your foam cannon. I will show you how much and your concentration levels on what you need to add to that. Grease attack, obviously, degreaser. This is great. What I was doing with it, I will read through it. You can use it as a spray bottle. I added it into the foam cannon, diluted it in that to spray up and underneath my car to help get it get it out a bit better. Done a little bit in the engine bay as well. And we got our big old hand towel. This is pretty much just a chamois, our little mitt. So this mitt, when you wash your car, you do not want to use it on your tires. That's what the brushes are for. And then our mega towel over here. Got our foam can canister out. I don't know how well you can see it on the side here. It has in 100 mil increments. Now on the side of this it says 30 to 50 mil. So I'm gonna go 50, just cause my car is uh, dirty. And then take a good guess at it, uh, about yay. That, that's 50 mil. You wanna go fill the rest with water. Once you get the rest of it filled, then you can go add it to your journey and get ready to start washing it. You can adjust all your flow control and how it shoots out. I'll show you in a second on how we do it. Best time of day to wash your car, late afternoon or early morning, not in the direct sunlight, as it will advise you on the products anyway, just so the soap doesn't dry too quick on the panel. Gives you more time to work around the car. So we'll test this out, see what flow we're on. We are on nothing. So we're on really, really wide at the moment. We'll go and adjust it. And as you can see, that's pinpoint accuracy. So that's perfect for trying to get in your tight spots. We'll go and turn it a little bit. We want a nice little fan on it. And then you can adjust your flow control on how much pressure, of how much liquid you want coming out at a time. Now I've used a couple of other brands before. I brought a foam cannon uh, probably two years ago and it didn't do what I thought it was going to do. It didn't wash the car correctly. What you do with this one, which I've used, when you actually put it on it leaves a nice thick layer as you can see how thick it is. Then when you go and wash it, it actually does help remove all the dirt really well.
like on my hand mitt. It's nicely on your hand actually. It's actually so soft. <laughs> and then go around and rub all the dirt loose. So when you go and pressure wash your car, when you go pressure wash it at the end, everything just falls off, it just glides off. Walk into the rain again. We're gonna get our hard bristle brush for our wheels. Now it just makes cleaning these wheels a lot easier. I hated using a mitt, a hand mitt to get in. Got a little crack, especially trying to get in around there, in and around this. Just use this brush. Makes your life so easy. Get your normal car chuff attachment or pressure washer attachment. 10 minutes, the car's washed. Big drying towel and do as exactly as you think with it. I use this Shazzy Champ, the underbody sand and salt repellent. So I was just reading through it. It says obviously to make sure that the underbody of your car is nice and clean. Shake bottle very well. Very well shaken now. And then it says allow product to dry, dry two to three hours. So let's see how well this brightens up this Shazzy Jesus. Like brand new under here. Off the showroom floor now. So yeah, that's meant to help protect it as well. So it gives it, once that dries, it gives it like a nice barrier. But yeah, I tell you what, from what I can see already, that um, looks like it is gonna work perfect. I'll go along and give the rest of this car under here a good spray now. Interior cleaner. Obviously it's gonna be much the same as the rest of the interior and cleaners. The only thing I have experienced over my years of cleaning countless cars, not even just four wheel drives, every car, certain interior cleaners tend to leave like a residue or a white line across it. Like I said, a nice simple spray across everything. All right, we'll go give this. I've just got a bunch of rags. Microfiber towel is the best way to go, but I just got rags at the moment. And that is much cleaner. Beautiful. Looking good. So far, so good. We're just moving on to our glass cleaning stage now. I've got a good view. So I don't know if you've ever been experienced while you're driving. Happens just from dirt and dust build up and whatnot and then not using clean rags when cleaning your glass. I'll give you a good view. I've wiped one side already. And you can see crystal clear. I don't know how well you're gonna see this on the camera. But you can see the little streak lines from the other glass cleaners that have been left behind. Yeah, you can see it. And then on this side, I've got nice crystal clear glass. So it's three to one in this is what it says. I've done two to one because by the time you put it through the gurney, it's gonna add extra water in anyway. What I do to help foam this up, rather than just using a spray bottle, I put it on the cannon, which is my favorite little bit. So hot, ever said it wasn't. Pick your body off the floor and stand up once more. Here we go, here we go. 
don't ever do this when it's warm or the car is hot. Brakes, rotors, any part of your car because you're applying cold water so you don't want it to go and crack, warp or anything and you can do some major damages. Nice gentle wash to get it off. The greatest thing about the product too, it actually says for truck washing and stuff, um, you can put a couple capfuls in the bucket when you're washing your car, so it can't be too harmful for your paint, which is great. Bits of grease are already starting to come out of the foam. So with my car chuck, if I don't put an attachment on it, it will still use water, and it's just like a hose. So then I don't get crazy power out of it, which is great. like that makes life so much easier little tip for you once you do do it make sure you run water through your journey just to get the degrees or out of a journey so my honest review of the salty captain bucket awesome the products actually do what you need them to it's more time efficient to wash your car than doing it the old school way in the bucket you can still do it that way if you want wish with their products but the foam cannon makes life a breeze so jump on over to their website, go buy one. If I'm lucky, I may get a discount code and if I get a discount code, I'll leave it in the description and use that. You get yourself a cheeky little discount. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll catch you on the next one.